Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 2.5 earthquake west southwest of Manhattan Beach, California. This is actually along the Newport Inglewood fault line and that's uh, a fault line that many people should be um, very aware of and concerned about. 95 people reported feeling this earthquake and felt reports came all the way from um, Huntington Beach. Uh, what else we got here? The Los Angeles area, Simi Valley and Thornton Oaks, Long Beach and Alameda. I covered this area, um, I believe last year in the fault zone, the Newport Inglewood fault zone that scientists now say is probably a greater danger than the uh, San Andreas fault zone. They believe it's actually part of the San Andreas fault zone but can cause more damage than what the San Andreas could do. The focal mechanism ball shows that the initial first wave of the earthquake came from the north. Tension was applied straight up. There was uplift and we got widening of the fault line. Well, the San Andreas Fault lies about 35 miles northeast of the city of Los Angeles and was responsible for the 1906 and 1989 Loma Prieta earthquakes. The Newport Inglewood Fault Line would actually probably be a lot more dangerous to Los Angeles. It runs 47 miles under the Los Angeles Basin beginning on the southern border of Culver City, going through Inglewood and Long Beach along the Orange County coast before going out into the ocean. In this image here you can see how it extends all the way up. We got Santa Monica here and I'm going to show you Google Earth. There's Santa Monica. Here we have Manhattan Beach and we have Long Beach and Seal Beach. Seal Beach is very important because scientists have found that over the centuries large earthquakes that have shook this fault line this area actually shook in some spots a foot and a half in other spots three feet and that happened in a matter of seconds buildings roads infrastructure um, gas lines water lines were not made to withstand such a sudden drop you know in you know three feet in a matter of seconds Scientists believe that this fault line is capable of having a magnitude 7 earthquake which in energy and damage would be about the same as a magnitude 8 on the San Andreas Fault. This fault line was only discovered in 1920 after a magnitude 4.9 earthquake and back then it caused over a hundred thousand dollars in damage. Can you imagine what the cost of damage would be for today for how many people live there, the fires. Yeah, we got, looks like what, um, possibly what, oil tanks maybe? Or are they water tanks? I'm not quite sure. In March of 1933, off the coast of Huntington Beach, there was a magnitude 6.4. The damage was incredible and far spread. $50 million by 1933 dollar standard. Yeah, so you can imagine what that would cost today. 120 people died in 1933, mostly because they rushed out of the buildings and were crushed, killed by falling debris. 120 schools in Long Beach were destroyed and had the earthquake occurred during daytime hours. Yeah, you can imagine how many students would have been killed. A scientific report from 2017 said that new studies showed that the fault runs much deeper than they had ever anticipated. Possibly all the way down to fault lines that have magma. In 2015, a professor from the University of California at Santa Barbara reported that helium-3 was leaking naturally from oil wells 1.8 miles deep from a 30 mile long stretch from Los Angeles west side all the way down to Newport Beach and that's just past Huntington Beach uh, by Cosa Mesa. Pretty amazing huh? So the question is did you feel this earthquake? What did it sound like? How long did it last? What was the motion like? 
Um, please put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.